Hello everyone, welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Support in Smite. Now, we're doing another conquest for a couple of reasons. First off, um, I didn't actually get to get into the late game last time, so I didn't get to talk necessarily about all of the conversations that I necessarily would normally have liked to go through. I didn't get to talk quite as much about the end game jungle objectives. I didn't get to talk about dealing with the titan, how you should approach the titan as a support, things like that. Uh, I didn't get to talk about any of that, so I am going to hopefully get a nice late game on this one. Uh, second, there is a rather substantial update over the day, so I will now be able to talk about a couple of things that have changed since the start of this series. Uh, and there are a couple of changes that have gone on that, in fact, do need to be addressed. And one of those is a change in benevolence. So also, the third thing that I realized just recently that I didn't talk about at all is in this series I have shown you what it looks like for a... Um, for a hybrid support with a warrior, which is very easy to do, but I haven't shown you any kind of hybrid support for a support, an actual guardian, so I am going to be building Sylvanas a little hybrid, not too much, it's not going to be too extreme, but I am going to be using Benevolence because it has been changed, and I really like these changes, and I want to discuss why I really like these changes. So the first, we're just going to buy this really quick, because when you are playing Sylvanas, you are going to want to... I forgot stupid consumables again. I do that on a lot of characters. Uh, we are going to want to move very quickly here. So, when you're Sylvanas, you want to grab the plant first, because you can actually help out your allies quite a bit. Also, notice Benevolence is stacking down there. What this means is that whenever you're near an ally, you and your ally heal 0.15%, if I remember the patch notes correctly, 0.15% of your health, and you get a gold for every stack as you stand near allies. Oh. Didn't have my mouse set up the right way. I should just about make it in time. But this is how you use Sylvanas. Yeah, I'll make it just in time. I'll be slightly late, excuse me. That was from the delay of my mouse not being in the correct mode. Which is okay. Considering how much damage we can do to the entire group of enemies here, it's not a huge deal. Let him finish it off. There we go. So now Benevolence doesn't steal away your experience. Also, they gave a small benefit to the lowest ally with um, experience. The lowest level ally gets a bit of, like, I think, a 10% bonus experience. And this seed, the reason why I'm picking Sylvana specifically is he got a new passive that now reduces his cooldowns when he picks up one of those seeds that he drops. So that's fairly very exciting. Ah, shoot. I was not fast enough on the response time for that. I did not think they were going to hit that hard. I keep forgetting how powerful Uller can be. We're just going to lure in some minions here. Okay, and Apollo's playing this very smart, so we're just going to hold down the fort here. You go ahead and poke me out, son. I'll walk right into that one. There we go. There's a fight going on over there, so what I'm going to want to do is distract these people. That's why I'm going out a little bit aggressively here. I'm going to go ahead and poke Fafnir out a little bit. There we go. I'm not going to go for that seed. There's no way I'd be able to pick that up. Okay, good. He picked up a kill there. I think we made that even. He picked up two kills there. That's going to be huge. I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, tower shoot those. They're going for the harpy, which is fine. Okay, good. We can go for this harpy. So you notice the benevolence is healing. It takes it five stacks at a time. I did not know that. There we go. Oh, he didn't finish it off. Okay. Fair enough. I 
Alright. They're gonna definitely be looking for that, so we're gonna... We got it. That's good. Oh, I missed that. That would have been pretty huge if I'd been able to hit that. Oh, that minion pokey would have been taken? That would have been nice. Now, you'll notice that Sylvanas also does initiate like a lot of uh, normal guardians do. He brings them in instead of the other way around. Which is fine. In some ways, that can be more effective. Grab these seeds... Gonna go ahead and pull in the aggro here. Good. We don't want to pull in Uller right now. Uller actually does pretty well in melee, so we don't necessarily want to be doing that. I'm gonna put down a ward here. We are going to go for this, huh? Are they gonna try to interrupt? They are not. They're gonna try to pre clear. Okay. Notice how much mana you just picked up with the uh, seed there. Can I just... Okay, one down. But that's fine. Alright. Finally, I have my ult. Okay. They're probably at their... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they're probably at their... Um, void buff. Waiting for one of them to make a silly mistake like hitting somebody. There you go. I missed that. That was pretty bad. Been a bit of a hot minute since I last used Sylvanas. Okay. Nice miss. Nice miss again. Well, he didn't miss. I just actually timed my ultimate correctly. <laughs> He's had such a loss. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you're not in exactly the greatest position here. Neither am I, though. Very nice. Hello. Okay. Okay, he did go back. I was going to say, is he actually bailing or not? I'm not going to use my healing on myself, primarily because I want to save with mana at this point. I don't have a whole lot, and yes, I do get mana back from my seeds, but... Of course, actually getting the seeds is a different story altogether. What this does present us with is an opportunity to get some farm right here. Paula? Oh, you're going to... Cl uh, early clear. Okay, fair enough. Benevolence isn't healing because both of us don't need healing. He's at max. That's really nice that they have programmed it that way. That's very nice. I'm probably going to need to go back just for the, um... Once we clear this void buff, I'm going to go back because I need to buy Gauntlet of Thebes at this point. Uh, it's very important I get that. Also, I have a ton of gold besides, and I want to force Fafnir to rotate out. Uller and Apollo are roughly equivalent right now, but they won't be for long if I stay over there. So I'm going to go ahead and try and force the rotation. Okay, Hera's over there. Alright, looks like we're actually going for a gank here, which is a little surprising. It looks like they're going to be able to get Uller. Uh, how fast is Argus today? Nah, Ar Argus is going to get him. He's already used his jump and he can't stun Argus, I don't think. Yeah, Argus is going to get him. No problem. No, Argus is not going to get him. Argus is going to die. And here is Raijin. I didn't hit that? Excuse me? And Fafnir got... Well, if, as long as Fafnir got Apollo, that's not too bad. Hi. How you doing? Yeah? Nice miss. What the heck? <laughs> I'm just gonna put him nice and far back. We're gonna pick up a lot of kills here. Go, 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 go. Slow him down for me if you can. Stun him, thank you. Uh, well, you didn't actually stun him, but that's good enough. 
All right, I'm going to stand in my plant here. It increases my mana regeneration. Notice it's 37.4 right now, and I move out of it. It's 17. The first thing you should probably be increasing is your wisps because of the healing. Even if there are no enemies nearby present, you can still use that to heal your uh, ADC if they really need it. So that's fairly useful. Next, the second thing we're going to increase is the plant for the exact same reason. You get a nice amount of sustain there for that. Okay, Polo's in mid, which is fine. I actually don't need anything over here. There's nothing worth really fighting for at this point in time, except we do have this, apparently. I think he's going to get out. Nope. Oh, nice. I didn't know she had Argus up. Okay, now I'm going to shell her. Missed that. That's okay. I have no mana. I have no mana. This is not great. But we can probably quickly grab this. We do still have Argus here. There we go. Argus is chasing down... Uh, was he chasing down... Um, What's his name? Naja? Because it sure seemed like it. Are we okay here? They're just going for the Scorpion really quick. I'm going to go ahead and start this up so that way Paula can get this bonus experience. Get him nice and ahead of the... Oops. Wooler. Move too far back for that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and slap this plant down, grab the seeds here, and then I'm going to get the heck out of here because I have no mana. Oh, wait. Mm, no, that's just uh, Fafnir. He's not going to do anything. My next move. I suspect they're probably going to build up enough lifesteal based on their composition. Uh, Naja has some built-in lifesteal. I didn't even get to place on my wards. I was so busy fighting. Naja has lifesteal. Fafnir has lifesteal. I anticipate... Well, they both have built-in uh, healing. Fafnir doesn't have built-in lifesteal. He has built-in healing. Naja does have built-in um, healing as well, not necessarily lifesteal either. Raijin is working on lifesteal right now. Ratatoskr is in trouble. We're going to go save him. And Rat gets out perfectly fine. We're just going to stall you as much as possible, and then we're just going to leave. Uh, well, I guess I can clear the wave really quick. It's not too much of a problem. There we go. Okay, so we're doing what over here? Ah, uh, they're just ganking Naja. Naja was way out of position there. Alright, at this particular point, what we're going to be looking to do is just make sure that nobody is out by themselves. We're starting to see some pretty heavy rotation there. I am going to... Yep. I was already on my way for that. I was originally over there for Redditoskir, but he backed. I just wanted to make sure that Fafnir wasn't running around. I know Fafnir is feeling really aggressive. He was in our jungle before. Um, as a support, you really should be paranoid of a lot of things going on. Okay, here's Uller. I don't know where Fafnir is, which is a bit of... Okay, there's Fafnir. I almost hit that. I did not hit that. But that's fine. Give me my seed. There we go. Oh, I don't think we have the opportunity for this. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, I guess we'll make this work. Oh, I barely missed that. That's fine. We'll just chill out in the plant. He has to back, so that actually gives up uh, Apollo a huge opportunity. But what we are going to do, because I know for a fact Apollo is looking like a snack right now for a lot of people. I'm going to heavily ward their jungle right about now. Alright, that was Naja's ult. I saw him flying up in the air. That's fine. There's Fafnir. What's Fafnir going to do? Uh, not much. He's going to play aggressively. This is, is a way too... For what he... For how he's doing right now, he's way, way too aggressive. There we go. I was waiting for the enemy team to come popping up. That's fine. going to go ahead and shell her because I know for a fact they're going to go very heavily on her. That was a great gank by Redditoskir. I'm hoping he comes back over here pretty quickly. I missed that somehow. Okay. That's not worth the chase. That is not worth the chase. He goes in. Okay. Sure. Alright. That was a bit odd, but sure. Looks like we're going to 
be taking left tower. I don't want to leave. No, actually, what I need to do is go left, because I'm pretty sure that the enemy team is going to head left pretty soon. And while I don't have a ton of mana, I should have enough to be able to save lives if I need to. Is this up? It is not. Alright. I, I really don't see this as being a particularly good idea yet. We can probably take this. I just wanted to scare him off. He was already backing up by the time I launched it. I just wanted to make sure that he knew I was... I knew he was there, and I just wanted to make sure he would back off. I was anticipating... I was partially correct. I knew someone was going to be coming over. Najah was a little later than I expected. I was expecting a little bit of a visit earlier. Yeah, they're going to be looking around. Don't be afraid of using your abilities and missing. It's just enough to sometimes create the fear. Although he was already backing off, it probably didn't do much. But the fact that I he probably heard it would be potentially enough. Okay, what are we doing over here, actually? I thought so. Yeah, I know what you're going to try to do, but I'm just going to ignore you. What is Fafnir doing? See, this Fafnir right now has a problem. He's, he's directionless. He's going around by himself and his support should only be by himself if he's specifically going to help a friend i missed that i mistimed that uh ratatosk will get him that's not even a problem he's just dead i'm gonna let them kill him i could have stolen that but i didn't want to come here ratatosk i need to heal you i'm gonna go over here and gank uh yolmengander i think that uh based on how we were all right there in mid uh, they're way too far up but so is uh I was hoping to stun him. If I'd hit that, he would I, I wouldn't have been able to pull him. Obviously, it's Jormungandr, but he would have been stunned. Yeah, they're too far up. Oh my goodness, the sewer is cleaning up. They shouldn't have gone that far forward. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting them to. That was kind of an insane choice. But okay. Oh, holy cow, I don't do nearly enough damage for this thing. I'm gonna need to go back. Well, I can help him out with this at the very least. A little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. I'm probably going to need to go left. That lane looks like it's going to get whacked. Uh, what do I want next? We're going to go for Lotus Crown. Actually, that'll give bonus protections to anybody you heal. We're going to get Blink for some nice initiation. And I need wards. I'm gonna just going to get a Sentry Ward. I still have one spare ward. Looks like Uller did push down left, which is fine. Apollo should be back over there in time. He's not going to be pushing too far up at this time, so we don't need to worry about that too much. I'm trying to anticipate where the enemy's going next. That's very important. So what we're going to do next is... Well, Najah's in right, but both of both the first towers have been lost there, so that doesn't really make a difference. Okay, we'll help Ratatosk with this jungle buff. All right, I'm going to grab the seeds here. Delicious. I want a ward left because they have been. There has been a heavy enemy presence here. I actually want to put down a uh, sentry right here. Hello. Ah, uh, well. I wouldn't have made it there in time. Oh, I. Mm, no, I still wouldn't have. Okay, now you come over and rescue. Oh, you're not going to do enough damage to me. You hit like a wet noodle. What the heck? You don't have nearly enough penetration for this. Oh, wow. Raijin came over. That was... I didn't know Raijin was over there. Okay, so my mistake was is that I went in after Apollo died. I could theoretically still have killed Uller. That was very possible. Uh, I'm not quite ready for that. It just, my hybrid isn't uh, hybrid enough yet to have been able to try that. Uh, that's basically what happened there. So, let me see. My next move will be what, specifically? Uh... Hmm. Uh, do I need Witchblade? No. What I do want is Shogun's Kusari. We'll actually pick up another Sentry Ward. I keep forgetting I don't have my items on him yet, because I somehow forgot. We're obviously going to head directly to mid. Uh, who we've got? Fafnir and Jormungandr? Okay, there goes Ratatosk here. So we're going to be looking to save Set, because they're going to die of him, probably. Or uh, possibly go for Gold Fury. I saw Fafnir going left. Nope, it looks like they're just full retreating. Nope. There's Raijin. Oh, they're going to push down tower. They're waiting for Raijin for damage. Okay. And then Raijin leaves. 
Interesting. The enemy doesn't seem to have a very strong plan here. Okay. Good. <laughs> Alright, Uller versus... Okay, Uller's been farming. That's why he's been able to kill Apollo. Uh, we've got Set over there, so I'm not really concerned about it. Yep, I figured they'd be able to pick that up. I just want to make sure they don't push down mid lane. I'll probably rotate over to the left pretty soon. Apollo looks like he's in bad shape. He pretty much died there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm trying to figure out. So Raijin's in mid. I don't know where anyone else on the enemy team is, which is mildly concerning. Why is Hera going in the, on that? I'm going to need to support her up here. She's going to be having a problem if I don't. I have no idea where Naja is, which is a big concern. There's Fafnir, which is fine. There's Naja. Okay. I got a little bit of poke down on my boy there. Not too much. Nothing, like, egregious, but it's fine. Okay. You know, I wonder if I could adjust my... No, I will stick with this, I think. Okay. Good. I mean, the enemy team is not building that much penetration. Actually, the enemy team is almost none. The heck? What do they have? He's got... Yeah, there's pretty much no penetration going on here. You're a little bit early, guy. Okay. I don't want to push in on this. Sets in a rather interesting fight there at Pyromancer. We have Jormungandr right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is Apollo here? We need to retreat. This is not a fight in our favor. This is not a fight in our favor. They're going to try to push down. Good call. He predicted that dodge very nicely. All right. Okay, he's going to get away, unfortunately. i got to make sure that my allies are as safe as possible. Shell. And there goes Fafnir, which is pretty big news. I got the kill somehow. Okay. Good job, Hera. Heal her up. See? That's exactly how that works. I just wanted to stun. He's also taking increased damage temporarily right now, because that's what his passive does. Okay. I'm going to have to body block for her. This is going to get pretty ugly otherwise. Can we... Yes. Come on. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now she needs to get out of here. Gotta clear the wave and then leave. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright. Oh, alright. Is that a rage quit? Sjorman Gander. See, in that particular scenario, I knew that Hera and I had the advantage of HP. I was in really good shape. Okay, that was not a rage quit then. Uh, that particular dive, I knew could work because the enemy team had just died. There was only two versus two, and I was in really good condition, which is inherently... Uh, this is just inherent to um, Sylvanas. He packs all of his own sustain and spreads it to allies, which is really nice. With the seed passive that he now has, which is new, that's going to be even more egregious. There's going to be even better... Uh, sustain going on here. So that's really quite potent. And I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the match, but that is quite the powerful... Why does he keep fighting Uller 1v1? Uller has the advantage. He's got a better crowd control. Anyways, um, so, you know, you pack your own sustain. It's like packing your own lunch. Uh, but at that particular point, back to the main subject, I keep getting distracted by the new glory of Sylvanas. Um, the main point that I'm trying to reach is that I knew that I would be able to survive that tower at that particular point because I knew for a fact that we had the health advantage. I had more health than obviously both of them. I was going to be able to protect the Hera because I knew Uller could be body blocked very easily. Jormungandr couldn't, but Jormungandr isn't 100% damage. He's doing some decent damage, but... I wouldn't call him necessarily full damage. Is he here to void? Did he back? Or is he doing... Okay, he was over here. Nah, there's no way we keep up with him. 
He has good movement speed. I have absolutely no idea what the enemy team is looking for right now, but I'm going to go check the uh, fire giant. Because I just saw Raijin head in that direction. The pyromancer, okay. Apollo is probably ulting over there. No, he's just standing there. Alright, pyromancer isn't that bad. I'm going to need to ward the fire giant with his sentry pretty soon. I missed that. I should have done that earlier. Okay, good. I see Set trying to get a pick over there, but that's not going to work out. Slow him down, slow him down. There you go. Oh, I thought he was going to move farther over. I thought he was going to hide behind the rocks. He did not. Turns out that is not that was not his plan. Huh. I have absolutely no idea what's happening, but I need to try to protect Hera. No, she's actually better off than I thought she was going to be, in all honesty. What the heck are we doing here? Set. There you go. Let me pick up these seeds really quick. It's not like this poison damage is doing anything significant to me. There's Fafnir. There goes Fafnir. Oop. I'm in a bit of a spot here. Oh, I was too early. Heal everyone up. Give them protections. I'm going to die here. Nope. I'm not going to die here. We're fine. We're okay right now. Alright. Okay. Not a bad play. Not a bad play. Okay. How did you think? Hi there. Nice. He beads that. There's Redditosker back there. I'm going to have to push forward to see if I can help him out. No, I'm going to die for this. But that's okay. We took out Uller. Uh, we also took out Raijin in the background. It was very worth. It was very worth. Uh, nope. Hold on. Dash through, Apollo. Dash through. Nope. It was not worth. They threw it away. Ah, man. Does he have lifesteal? Not enough. That was a good move, though. He's not going to make it out. He's still going to get killed by, uh, what's his name over there? What I actually want to do here is I'm going to make a change. I want Contagion here, and then I want Shogun's Kusari. And then I'm going to want to go into Talisman of Energy, I think. Would probably be a better bet overall. Uh, but I want to do that in a different order. Uh, no. We really can't afford to do that in a different order. Contagion. Shogun's Kusari. And, yeah, we're going to work on Talisman of Energy. This will increase my attack speed drastically, which is exactly what I want right now. Yes, that should be fine. It should work out. Ooh. Okay. So right now, there's two in right. Rat is a little bit up. I'm going to keep an eye on Rat on the minimap right now. As a jungler, he's going to be fairly aggressive about stuff. See, right now, Apollo isn't quite as high level as he should be. He's too down from Uller, which is definitely a problem. I'm way ahead of Fafnir, but I've been doing way better than Fafnir has been as well. You can probably take this, honestly. Nope, we can't. Nope, we're going to abandon this. Ah, I missed that. That's unfortunate. Follow, we'll get him. Or miss. Okay, there we go. Now we're in pretty deep waters here. It looks like Ratatoskr gets out. We're going to help Apollo with this. Alright, I'm just trying to keep Raijin out of this little fiasco here. 
Nice miss. Just trying to keep him alive. This is going to be really ugly. Nope. Yeah. Now, right now, Set is leaving. That's the correct move to do. He understands that I am the support, and it is my job to die if I need to. It doesn't look like I'm going to need to. It looks like they're trying to chase down Set, so I'm going to have to rejoin the battle here. Nope, they're not trying to chase Set. They were just trying to defend the tower. I could go in on that, but I already know that's not going to work out. I have too much crowd control right now. I'd never actually survive. My magic protections are a little bit lower. Because I decided to change up my build. Actually, I don't need to technically go back right now. I don't have enough for Talisman of Energy. I need 500 more gold. Let's see if these Harpies will give it to me, huh? Alright. Now you may be wondering, Professor, you've barely built any power, anything that could even cons be construed as bonus damage, so how is this going to be hybrid? Well, they didn't change animosity, which does a percentage of your maximum health as bonus damage to everything. So really, you'll notice that all of my items have increased health. This is my goal. I can be nice and tanky and still do respectable damage, and with my AoE auto attacks, I can actually do a substantial amount of damage in team fights. Hold on. Did I just hear? I did. Well, I tried. Oh, I stole it! <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't realize I'd stolen it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even expect to accomplish that. Ah, shoot. I missed all my opportunities there. I don't think they're going to be able to do enough damage to kill me. No. He's going to he's going to try to kill somebody else. There we go. All right. All that's left is Uller, who is going to pose some potential issue here. But that is okay. What I'm going to do is save up my healing for the group here. Now, normally, when you are attacking the fire giant as a support, you're normally wanting to be the one holding off the enemy. You normally want your warrior to do this. But he's dead, so this is now my job. I'm just going to basically be dancing around trying to keep everyone alive. Would, namely me. Uh, I'm not going to live through this. And Uller is wiping out the party in the background. At the very least, the fire giant killed me, which is fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this. And then we just need to save up for animosity, and we're in a really strong position. Okay. He soloed most of the team. Uller is very strong. Uh, he's building pretty nice, too. I think mainly Apollo's main issue is he hasn't got enough lifesteal. I appreciate dominance, especially when combined with Wind Demon. But he needs the he needs lifesteal. See, Uller has Aussie. Alright, so at this point, what we're really thinking about is... Okay, so probably their next move is going to be to eliminate that Sentry Ward we have on Fire Giant. So as the support, it's our job to restore that. They also might be looking to go for the Gold Fury pretty soon. They might not have the confidence they desire to go for fire giant especially since one of their heavy damage dealers uler is dead and raijin is doing is not doing great he's fairly behind uh, so they're probably not going to want to rely on him for damage output against the fire giant so i have a sneaking suspicion they're probably going to be looking at the gold fury uh jormungandr being there does not ensure that they are not going for the gold fury just means he's not part of it it is something I'm going to want to pop over and check really quick. I'm surprised they have not eliminated the ward at the fire giant, though, which just makes it more likely. Okay, Naja. No, they're looking at the they're looking at the fire giant. Well, there's backups. So they're probably looking to prep for that. That's probably what they're looking to do right now. I'm just going to kill this wave. They are so looking at the fire giant. They're eliminating that ward, I think. Yeah. That's fine. I don't want to engage there. I want to put down another ward. There we go. Alright. At this particular junction, what are we doing? Set's too far up. Set's too far up. I somehow missed that? Alright. Fair enough. 
That's actually what I want from you, is to target me, so that's fine. I'm just trying to create the opportunity for them to do something... Uh, here. I wasn't the best ult. Alright. I thought for sure he was going to go around that corner. Uller. There's Uller. He's the big problem here. We have Norman Gander back here, causing disruption. Okay, Set so just went in to save me. That's fine. That's fine. Surprised if I survived that. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Well, that kind of worked. Okay. Now I'm not really sure what you're doing. Stop that. Okay. I don't particularly like the looks of this. That was a good move by Apollo, though. Okay, he did that excellently. Okay, he beats that. He beats that. Good, she eliminated him. I'm gonna have to... Nope, she doesn't need help right now. Let's see if we can lock down this boyo. Now, it was important that I cut him off right there. Hold on. I missed that, barely. I just want him dead. Uh, Argus is tanking right now. That's fine. I cannot believe I missed that. Okay. We don't have this tower, but the minions just went in, so... All I have to do is heal up the team. Naja is back, but I'm not too concerned at this point. I'm going to be concerned a hot second, though, when Uller comes back and Jormungandr comes back. Alright. She's aggressing on them for some reason I don't understand. And that was his escape, and now he dies. Honestly, he really does. There's nothing he can do to get out of this. Yep. Okay, good. We got that. That's excellent. We now need to be looking at the Pyromancer. She stayed. She should not have been up there. Come on. We were we were already back. Red Tusker shouldn't be there either. I'm going to have to go and reinforce him. Nope. What we're going to do is try to bait it out then. No, I guess we're not even going to do that. Ratatusker needs to get out of there. It's going to end very badly if he stays up there too long. We actually have enough for pot, a power pot. Alright, we've got pretty good protections right now. Uh, yep. I'm pretty comfortable with this setup. They're going for Gold Fury. Can we stop them or probably not? I don't think we're close enough. Yeah. I don't think we necessarily have enough. Oh, he's going to start it. Okay. They know we're on here, you know. Alright, set's here, so we're going to want to pop over here and body block for this. Good. Alright, we got that nice and quick. We're going to probably want to play this one pretty safe, though, even though we have the Fire Giant, because right now we're not at peak performance. We're not at top health or anything like that. Yeah, they're not going to be looking to fight either right now, apparently. Which is a shame, because right now, they would have a smite, a smite advantage? A small advantage. Talk about obsession. A smite advantage. That was good. It's a good initiation. I wish I had my blink up. Come on. There you go. I'm just trying to cause some disruption back here right now. I really want Uller. Ah, so close. I almost have my blink up. Ah, shoot. Nope. Stop that immediately. I'm just going to waltz in here. I got to save it. He just needs saving. <laughs> you got that unlock. 
All right, now what we're going to do is when we go for the Titan, we want to be as aggressive as possible with this because, well, there's not going to really be any need for it. But when you're fighting the Titan you, as a support, you want to just absolutely charge the enemy. The point of charging the enemy while you're tanking the Titan is specifically so that way you can bring the Titan within the enemy range so that way your mages, however many you have, and your AoE abilities that your team has can hit both the Titan and enemy gods. So anytime, this, uh, now granted, Sylvanas has a little bit of a rough time with that because he doesn't have typical initiation. Uh, so it is something you're going to want to keep an eye on as Sylvanas. It is a little bit more difficult to pull that off. So I was very happy that the entire enemy team was dead. But if you're most other supports and you're, you know, you're aggressing on the Titan, you have, there is actually a process here. Um, step one, as a support tanking the Titan, is damage an enemy before any of your allies can. This will cause the Titan to aggro you over your allies, which is what you want. Step two is to absolutely rush the enemy. You, uh, like I said just a second ago, you want the Titan to be as close to the enemy gods as possible. Now, this doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense, but the instant your allies start dropping their AoEs on both the Titan and the enemy gods at the same time, this becomes very powerful. Now, we really didn't have a team comp that was really going to be strong for that. Ratatoskir has some small AoE on his spin and, of course, his ult. Apollo has his ult, but nothing really besides that other than the pierce shot. And Hera has Argus, who isn't really necessarily quite heavy on the AoE damage. So it is, again, once, once more, it is a really good thing that the entire enemy team was dead, because we really didn't have a good Titan fighting team. We don't have a whole lot of AoEs that I could have really used to uh, take advantage of that. But under normal circumstances, you're not going to necessarily wipe the Titan that quickly. You're going to be, you know, having to fight off enemies at the same time. And under those circumstances, as a support, do some damage first, run at the enemy gods, get the titan as close to them as possible so your allies can hit both the titan and the enemy all at the same time. That's your goal right there. That is your end goal as a support. Now, again, I do want to reiterate for this match that when you fight the fire giant, I mentioned this when you were fighting the fire giant originally, but usually when you're fighting the fire giant as a support, you want the warrior to tank the fire giant because the warrior will usually, or your solo lane, will usually do more damage. They'll be tanky enough to be able to survive the fire giant and also damaging enough to really be able to make an impact there. Now at the end there, Set wound up going for, you know, blo uh, blocking the enemy and I kind of went in afterwards. I was able to do a small bit of decent damage utilizing animosity and you could see that I was doing like a hundred and almost 130 I think maybe even slightly more than 130 per um, auto to multiple potential enemies especially at the end of that last fight there where you'll notice that the uh, Fafnir and the Ormengander were standing so close together I was able to hit both of them for okay amounts of damage um, but really that's something you want to do as a support for Fire Giant. The the solo lane should be tanking it because they hit it for more damage and you should be trying to keep enemies out because you do have more crowd control. You have more, well, most support, most guardians have, most supports, let me rephrase that, have more crowd control. They've got more ability to, you know, keep the enemy away from the Fire Giant as necessary. So that's usually how that goes. Now, there are exceptions. I'm going to shut out Guan Yu as a specific example, which is, um, which we've seen earlier in this series. Guan Yu actually wants to be the one tanking the Titan because he can do a respectable, a respectable amount of damage to it. Uh, so, and especially if the enemy does try to steal it, he can bust out his ult, and since the enemy will want to be within some certain distance of the fire giant hitting multiple strikes of Guan Yu's ult is very easy. Sylvanas doesn't really have that necessity. Although Sylvanas is pretty good at damaging both the fire giant and melee enemies that are trying to steal it most of the time. But, you know, nine times out of ten as a support, you're the one preventing the enemy from getting there. And the warrior or the solo is the one tanking the fire giant. Now, I didn't actually get to exemplify this this match, but in the previous episode, when I was Ganesh, you'll notice that I was standing on the opposite side as Apollo. That is because that is actually a specific way of farming the... or not, Well, farming isn't the right word, but of baiting the Gold Fury. 
see, as long as somebody does damage to the Gold Fury and is in her little half circle, she'll go for you. So if you put one person on one side of her semicircle and another person on the other side, and both have damaged her, then as whenever she gets close enough to attack one person, they back out of the semicircle. And then she'll target the other person who attacked her on the other side, so she'll be traveling quite harmlessly to the complete other side of the semicircle. Then the first person who just stepped out steps back in. Um, I'll probably use a jungle practice to exemplify this in a future episode a little bit more clearly, but that's the basic idea. My problem is, is that I didn't step out of the circle fast enough last episode as Ganesh. That was my problem there. Um, normally when you're a support, you can just stand there on your half of the battlefield and make sure that the Gold Fury is a little bit farther away from the enemy team, but in that cir particular circumstance, I didn't have the health for that, so it was something that I wanted to kind of do just to try to, you know, not die there. Uh, and unfortunately, I mistimed my backing out, which is my fault. But that's what that strategy was. That is something that people do for the Gold Fury. Beyond that, um, you know, overall, it was a fantastic game. Uh, the I really, really love the new changes to Benevolence. I think those are great. I love the new change to Sylvanas. Sylvanas' previous passive was quite useless, in all honesty. His previous passive was, I think every time an enemy hit him with a melee auto attack, they had a 50% chance of being rooted. Which wasn't supremely useful, this gives him way more utility, and I am going to take a hot minute to actually talk very specifically about these two things. Uh, first, let's talk about the passive nature's bounty. When Sylvanas' abilities hit or are deployed, a seed pod appears. When Sylvanas picks up the seed pod, he restores 2.5% of his mana, as well as lowers his cooldowns. At level 20, this cooldown reduction is increased to 1 second. So you can see where he can really spam abilities quite effectively in the late game, because every single seed pod you're grabbing reduces your cooldowns by 1 second. Whenever they hit, keep in mind that Wisps can hit... Uh, let me see... The Wisps hit for, um, five times, so that's five seeds right there, so five seconds off, it's a six second, a 16 second cooldown, so you're down, just from the Wisps alone, with one enemy, you're down by a delightful five seconds, more obviously for more enemies, if you can collect the Wisps, they don't last that long, they don't actually, the only, uh, criticism I have is that they don't tell you how long the seeds last, I think that's an oversight, they really probably should, um, they seem to have only lasted 5 seconds is a rough approximation. I would have to experiment with that. I will probably time this privately over the weekend so I can get a better idea of, hey, this seed is going to last this long. This is the only change to Sylvanas, but it is way better because not only does it allow him to have even better sustain, but it also allows him to spam abilities in the late game, which is huge. Um, the only other thing that I want to talk about is the change to Benevolence here. Every second you are not near an ally god, you gain one stack of Benevolence, up to a maximum of 50. For each assist, you gain four stacks. Every second you are within 70 units of an ally god that is hurt, you will spend up to five stacks to heal them and yourself for 0.15% of your maximum health per stack. For each stack consumed, you gain one gold. Now, this does actually several things, and this is actually, I think, a lot more powerful than a lot of people are going to realize initially. First, keep in mind that you are healing your your allies and yourself by a percentage of your maximum health. Not theirs, yours. So they'll heal more the more HP you have. This rolls really nicely into animosity later on. Right? Because you're already going to want to be increasing your maximum health, so that way you can heal your allies more with benevolence. Now, a lot of people might say, well, now once you evolve benevolence into animosity now you're losing your healing but sylvanas doesn't care sylvanas has healing in his kit uh what you can really utilize benevolence for if you're really worried about losing the healing is utilize benevolence for the early and mid game healing and then evolve it once you've built mail of renewal which is a really acceptable substitute um it heals quite a decent amount of health but that's generally where i would recommend going actually consider specifically mail of renewal 15% of their maximum health, which isn't quite as potentially powerful as the 2.5% of yours, but, you know, that's a quibble. Um, but you can do that as well, so you can use Benevolence to heal your allies in the mid to early game if you're really worried about them, and then you can go into Mail of Renewal towards the end. Now, I also want to take a hot minute to um, talk about... Um, where is my history? Where do you find that again? I, uh, there we go. 
Now, we're going to want to talk about right here. I want to actually briefly mention the problem with Fafnir here. Um, now, his initial build right here, Gauntlet of Thebes, we are both working towards that. That's fine. Very understandable. Sentinel's Embrace, the Sentinel's Gift originally, also fine. That's perfectly good. All right, his early game was fine. You'll notice that uh, uh, he killed, he helped kill Apollo. He was, you know, being able to tank and all that. His next item, for some reason, was Pridwin. Now, Pridwin itself isn't a bad thing, but again, in this early in the game, building this is not a great idea because you're really not going to get a whole lot of benefit out of that passive. And if you're building it for the cooldown reduction, at this particular point, considering we had three physicals, we had set Apollo and Ratatoskir, a better cooldown reduction item would have been Breastplate of Valor, which also would have given him MP5 to help sustain him more. See, I don't talk about this enough in my opinion, but I did mention, I've mentioned in two previous episodes, a really important thing for support, and Sylvanas is really good for this now, even better, he was already good for this before, but he's even better for it now, is sustain. You'll notice that I, most of the time, throughout that match, I chose when to return to the fountain. I didn't you know, I died three times, but there was very few moments, I think it was only twice, where I had to back because I was out of mana. Because I was sustaining. I had benevolence sustaining me. I had, uh, well, in the early game, I didn't have Contagion, but I later on had Contagion. I had Lotus Crown with MP5. I had Shogun's Kusari with MP5. I have Talisman of Energy with MP5. I was healing a ton from just my HP5, my natural HP5. I had HP5 out of Gauntlet of Thebes. I had myself heal. I had my seeds to restore my mana. Sustain is very important for supports. You need to be able to show up to a fight and help people. In the early game, this is tough because obviously you're not going to have the items to sustain with. But it is important that you try to build up at least some sustain, which is another reason why I'm so fond of Breastplate of Valor. It gives you physical protections. It gives you higher max mana, which is honestly the least important thing of that item. It gives you 20% cooldown reductions, and it gives you a really nice amount of MP5, and that's really huge, right? So, Pridwin not only does not offer any sustain, but the passive is really practically useless this early in the game. I mean, okay, you're getting a shield equal to your protections. At this point, you don't even have much because you're only getting the increased protections from the unevolved Gauntlet of Thebes at this point. If Even if it is evolved, you're only getting 100, 100 bonus health, plus I think Sentinel's Embrace is, what, 15 of each protection, 10 of each protection? So you're either getting 20 or 30 extra there, so you're getting 120, 130 health shield, and Pridwin doesn't offer you health. Right? It does offer a slow, but for most of our team, that wasn't really going to matter. Hera was going to have a problem with that, and I was, but I... Me dying is not a problem. So Hera was the only one who was really going to care about Pridwin, and she's got Argus. I mean, it, this was a terrible build. This was a, not a terrible build. This is a terrible pick for Fafnir at this point. This should not have been his third item. Later on, maybe somewhat justifiable if he felt he could lock down Hera with it. But it was way too early, he had no contact with Hera at this point, or if he did have contact, very little contact, and it just wasn't going to be, really have an impact this early in the game. It means nothing this early in the game besides the cooldown, and again, for cooldown, Breastplate of Valor is the better choice here anyways. So there is that. And then he builds Breastplate of Valor right afterwards. He should have built this first. He honestly should have. I didn't see this initially because the window here was blocking that, but... Yeah, he honestly should have built this first, skipped over Pridwin, built some magic protections, because now he's got plenty of magic protections, then he builds Pestilence, right? Which is fine, but by this point it was very late to build Pestilence. Keep in mind that I am healing myself and my allies. Keep in mind Hera built Lifesteal, third and fourth item. Keep in mind Ratatos gear was not, was not self-healing. Okay, he was not self-healing, so there is that. But, um, look, we've got physical lifesteal here as well, set has a self-heal on his ult. Pestilence was built way too late here. He honestly, if he'd put, if he'd swap, if he'd pushed Pridwin to the end of these three items and pushed these two forward, Breastplate of Valor here, um, Pestilence here, then Pridwin, he would have done a lot better. Just building Pridwin this early is terrible. Um, it's very expensive for what it does at this stage. And then Midgardian Mail, which granted was justified. This was actually a decent pickup here. I had auto attacks and I could have been affected by this. Apollo obviously had auto attack focus. Set has decent auto attacks. This makes some sense here. 
I do understand why he built this. Uh, I have a personal preference for Witchblade, but that's just down to preference. Um, and I only prefer Witchblade because it's more consistent. Um, because, you know, at the very least, you've got a couple of bonuses here. Keep in mind, I want you to remember that this is 300 health and 40 physical protection, right? We go to any, we'll go to Ymir for a hot second. Uh, keep in mind that Witchblade gives you 10 less protections, 50 less health, but it also gives you cooldown reductions, which you would have been overcapping on, and movement speed. So, really, Witchblade is swapping out the ability to slow the enemy's movement speed down, which didn't really matter that much at all, for increased cooldown reductions and movement speed. So it's just, I usually prefer Witchblade in situations that I could build Midgardian Mail. It just It's just a personal preference. I prefer the core stats on Witchblade a little bit more to the trade-off of potential movement speed, because you could always build Gem of Isolation, and frankly, as a support, you probably have plenty of crowd control in the first place. So I often find the movement speed reduction of Midgardian Mail to not quite be as potent, considering that I've got even better protections. Now, Sylvanas could probably really use Midgardian Mail, because that would help make the grab easier to hit, but half of the time your enemies are running away from you when you're trying to grab them, and they're not attacking you actively anyways, so that's not really a big deal either way. You could also use Gem of Isolation if you can get the Wisps on them, but that's again another conversation. But overall, um, that is sort of the advanced portion. I wish I could have shown you a little bit better. Um, the Fire Giant fights weren't exactly what I would call ideal. The Titan fight, I didn't get to show you, you know, rushing the enemy, but you at least understand the concept. Um... So we'll go ahead and leave it at that. We're going to move on. I'll probably go through a couple of... I'll go through one of each of the other modes so that we at least have an understanding of how you should adjust because right now for this particular series so far, I've been focusing pretty heavily on Conquest because that's the main mode. It's the most popular mode and it makes a lot of sense to focus on that. Um, but I'm not so ignorant to necessarily say, oh, you'll never play these other modes because Conquest is the greatest. Everyone has their own preferences, and I, I play all the modes relatively evenly. I play Conquest a little bit more than the other modes, obviously, um, but I've played all the modes very extensively. I'm very familiar with all the modes, so I will be going through one match in each of the modes, even Assault, uh, since it's much easier to just grab a support-type character, whether it's a Guardian or not, I can flex it depending on who I've got, but, um, you know, there's just a lot of options there, uh, even in Assault, so I will be talking about playing support in all the other matches as well from here, so the rest of this series is really going to focus on adjustments you will need to make for specific modes, because you will be approaching Clash a little bit differently. As an example, one big example is you don't need quite as much sustain in Clash, because Clash's battlefield isn't quite as large, but you will want to be rushing your, um protections and health a little bit more, so there is the distinct um, possibility that you might not be building Gauntlet of Thebes, because it takes too long in Clash, where there is quite the healthy amount of time that teamfights are going on, and you might not have the ability to get your Gauntlet of Thebes stacked fast enough, it really depends on the context, and that's something I'll talk about then. Uh, Arena, you definitely... Uh, could build Gauntlet of Thebes. You also have a need for quick protections, but Gauntlet of Thebes is very easy to stack in Arena, uh, as opposed to Clash, which is a little bit harder because the distance between minion waves is a little bit different, and the minion waves aren't quite as uh, fast uh, spawning as they are in Arena. Again, we'll talk about that later on. But, you know, you approach each of these differently. Just only has three people, so you approach that as a support a little bit differently than you would these other modes with five versus five. Assault, you can't go back and heal, so now you approach that a little bit differently. Again, so I will be going through each of these and talking about them for the remainder of this series. Um, so you have that to look forward to, but in the meantime, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, uh, please ignore me. And, um, yeah, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, um, requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, or if you just want to chat. I love chatting in my comment section. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, and have a great 24 hours.